So when we're looking at the short answer questions, it's important to have a look at two, the number of lines that you've given to answer the question in and have a look at the marks. So that'll give you an indication of how much writing you need to do and what detail to put into the answer. So for a two mark question, it might only be a list or describe, so you might just need to list two things. Or for a six mark question, you might have to um, give a cause and effect for what the question is actually asking. Question 18, which is an example of a short answer question, was taken from the 2013 HSC paper. And the question asks you to explain the difference between a hazard and a risk and include three, sorry, include an example of each in your answer. So as you can see, this question was worth three marks and you've been given roughly six lines there to answer the question. So what we need to do is go through and identify the key words. So first one is difference, hazard, then risk, and then an example of each. So this actually is a question that often causes a lot of um, issues with students answering a question because you don't, often don't quite know the difference between a hazard and a risk or you get them around the wrong way. So in terms of a hazard, it is actually a source of potential harm to you. So that could be um, a water hazard, a tractor rolling over, and a risk is the actual likelihood of harm occurring to you. So if we're looking at the example of a water hazard, you could be cause a slip risk, which is part of a hazard, and you could slip over and break a limb, so arm or a leg, or get concussion. If you're looking at the tractor rollover, the risk there in an extreme case is death, or once again, sort of severe damage, so resulting in broken limbs or other parts of the body. And it's important there that you also add in the example to get the full three marks.